Warzone developer Guerrilla Games has released some documents on what it's like making games for the upcoming PlayStation 4. They've even divulged in some of the tech specs, which includes the memory RAM, the GPU and the CPU allocations. They claim that the PS4 is really easy to program for and the GPU is really fast with GDDR5 bandwidth and it's awesome. This is great news, but considering they're a first party developer, we have to take everything they say with a pinch of salt. Now here's the interesting bit. The Killzone Shadowfall demo that we saw at the PlayStation conference was using 3 GB of memory for the graphics and 1.6 GB for the system CPU. Now this has raised eyebrows because many people believed they was using the PlayStation 4 to full capacity. They didn't need to optimize it to certain levels and they basically used all of its juice. Well, this isn't the case. They have basically used only 4 GB to get the game running. They could have used the extra GBs for better NPCs, reduced loading times, you name it. They could have improved in so many areas. Bearing all of that in mind, they wanted to get Killzone Shadowfall running at a full 1080p at 30 frames per second. Now many people have pointed out that that's not really next generation worthy and to a certain extent I agree. But we have to remember when you look at these comparison websites at Lens of Truth and Digital Foundry you find out that most games are barely hitting 20 frames per second and even dropping down to 10 and 15 when it gets hectic. So a solid 30 frames per second on a TV is actually pretty good. When you're at a monitor and only about two feet away, a drop in frame rate is actually disappointing to witness. But on a TV, you barely notice it. The slow movements on a TV actually plays out better. Guerrilla Games have also shown a graphics comparison between Shadowfall and Killzone 3. Now, while the end result isn't staggering, you have to remember that Killzone 3 is running in a PS4 engine so it's already been improved just by being on the engine and Killzone 3 looked good anyway. Now what you're seeing is an NPC in Shadowfall at around 40,000 polygons and an NPC from Killzone 3 at around 10,000. Now many people have pointed out that Uncharted 2 had Nathan Drake at 30,000 polygons so there isn't much improvement between the PlayStation 3 and the PS4. But you have to remember, game developers put more polygons into its main characters. This is just an NPC. 40,000 polygons for an NPC, when there's around 60 of them running around the screen, is amazing. So tell me in the comments section what you guys think about Killzone Shadowfall. Does it look good? Is it going to be good? And thank you for watching a Mr. More video.